day, man. It's about time you got here. All right, I finally got this thing together. This is one of those hybrid Civics. It's a 2006. It's one of those that had that IMA problem where the batteries prematurely fail. So you basically lose all your power and the IMA light stays on. This has a 158 volt arrangement of batteries in the back and that's the brain for it. What I did was I took the pack apart and charged each cell and refurbished each cell individually. And then I put the whole thing back together. This is the power pack. This is the motherboard and that's the computer that talks to the car. If all goes well, I should be able to flip this switch and everything goes just fine. I wanted to explain how this works first. We're going to pause it, I'm going to put this plate on, and we're going to flip the switch. Start them all by hand. Take the T25 bit for these. Most kits have them, it's pretty common. But I am just reinstalling this plate preemptively just to be safe because this is a lot of voltage. I wanted to fix these and make videos to show how they work because when I was trying to find information on how to fix this, it was next to impossible. So I want to take the time to explain what it takes to do this to the next car because this is one of two. I have two of these cars, two battery packs. So just start all the screws first to make sure they're lined up. And like I said, it's, it's probably fine. Like if you take your time with the battery pack, everything has a place. So everything should be fine. Oh, I lost one. You'll have that, but it's enough to keep stuff out of the way. So I'm gonna tighten these down, pause. Important battery disposal information. Warning, high voltage. You Getting will be killed out, or hurt. Tools. Do not remove this cover. No customer service parts inside. You ready to flip it? Yeah, all the necessary precautions have been taken. I even have a fire extinguisher just in case. But I have another thing about these cars is the circuit cannot be completed unless the car the key is in the car. So initially I'm just going to flip this switch. When I flip that switch, it should bridge all of those batteries to 160 volts. And put that 160 volts into the brain, okay? And if all goes well, there should be no smells, nothing happens. If I if I have a smell, I'm gonna try to flip that switch. And um, now we're gonna flip it and see what happens. It worked. I don't. This is, you think? I don't know. <laughs> we're just gonna wait a moment. Just continue to film. I want to look for a smell of burning electricity here. Because right now that is bridged to 160 volts. And if there was a problem, it would... Because it's a hard switch that flips it to 160 volts. If there was an issue, it would get that without even starting the car. But so far, so good. I think we're ready to start this thing. Let's... Uh, I'm not getting in the car. I don't really like this car that much. It was just for science. Fix the battery pack yourself. Basically, holy fucking sh holy crap. I think you did it. By golly, I think she's alive. And it's charging, it's charging the IMA battery and showing that the battery is there. The IMA light is not on, the IMA light went out. One sec. It bloody worked. It worked. There's no IMA light on. Let's do a little more looking at this car while we let this thing run because it worked. Science. It has a 1.3 liter anemic engine that puts out about 110 horsepower. That is not directly connected to the transmission. If you look, there's a high voltage line that comes down to an electric motor that separates the engine from the transmission. That is three phase, 160 volt, cuts you in half, you're not going home kind of power. That's why it is, you know, in these armored cables and then there's your transmission. That's the little wimpy battery. Contrary to popular belief, this thing has two batteries. That, you start the car and, and it can run off of it. I've done it, I was moving it around without the power pack even in the car. I was moving it with that. 
but then I, uh, when, the, when the other battery is engaged, it doesn't use the regular starter. It uses the actual electric motor to start the engine, that thing that the orange attaches into. And uh, it bloody worked. We're going to take it for a little ride, just because that's the next step in this kind of thing. All right, we are gonna take it for right around the block. I'll be able to tell right away if the IMA is working. What was that? My seat. I'll be able to know right when I give it gas if the IMA is working. Yes, she is. It's still charging. Still showing a bit of a battery issue. But I wanted to make sure I knew how to take these apart, charge them, and put them back together. One of the sticks was a bit sketchy, but I wanted to go ahead and get it back together anyway just to be sure. And now that I know I can put these together and take them apart, I'm going to piece apart both power packs. And I know that I will be able to get rid of these low battery issues. But I had to make sure that it was something I could disassemble and put back together before I decided to take two of them apart. But it worked. It worked. My IMA light is in the But yeah, this is a freaking stupid little hybrid, but we wanted to make sure it worked. Okay. Yep, we'll put the seat back in it after it's finished, but it can be moved now. 